How is long COVID diagnosed? I suspect that some of my continuing hoarseness after three months might be a result of long COVID, but we've also got allergies going on. It's allergy season for me. I'm spending a lot of time in Alabama, which has a whole new set of allergens. Allergies in that space, that geographic area are rampant. So it's hard to tell whether this is long COVID or allergies. Now, here's one thing I would say, that doesn't matter in terms of what I have. Here's what matters. The folks that have brain COVID, the folks that have respiratory long COVID and the folks that have diabetes, pre-diabetes COVID. One of the things that I have seen, I've seen several patients come in and they've been diagnosed with probable long COVID and their insulin resistance just went huge increase during that time period. So I wasn't surprised at all to see the studies that have started coming out over the past couple of months indicating that those of us that have had, after having COVID diagnosis, especially folks with long COVID, it seemed to have gotten a significant increase in prediabetes insulin resistance. Now back to your question, Bob, how do you diagnose it? It's an issue of symptoms. It's not a laboratory diagnosis. There's no way to say, oh, okay, so this person had COVID, we diagnosed it. Now there's another test. There's not another test. You have continued symptoms, continued problems with that organ system, whether it's lung, brain, and then as you continue to have those symptoms, those problems, you can look at some other things like some inflammatory testing, find some problems with inflammatory testing. But it's really more what we call a diagnosis of history and physical examination. History more than anything else.